don't care how good you are in anything, you don't have discipline, you ain't nobody. Because you give up on the slightest struggle without discipline. Discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. You may not know this now, but you're this close. Igniting your inner champion and reclaiming your destiny. If it's just that I want to be up more than anybody on the planet want me to be down. Be champion before you become champion. Wanting to get the best out of yourself. Not competing with anyone else but you. We don't back down from anyone. And that's what got me in trouble. I don't play games. I don't kiss anyone's ass. And I'm a real man. And that's why, I, that's, regardless of being a fighter, I'm a man. And that's why I want to be a man. And if I die, I want to die a man. And when you really focus, you hear everything. When I come to the ring, I notice everybody, I can hear you breathing. I hear you talking, I hear everything. When I come out, I have supreme confidence, but I'm scared to death. I'm totally afraid, I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing, I'm afraid of being humiliated, but I'm totally confident. The closer I get to the ring, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. But the closer I get to the ring, I'm more confident. Once I'm in the ring, I'm a god. No one can beat me. The world will know my name till the end of time. They call me the greatest. Because I'm a savage. That's who I was. I didn't want nothing until I got something. And when I said something, I mean the crown. You knew from the beginning the world was going to know who Mike Tyson was. 100%, yeah. At what age did you know that? 14. Why, why is that? Because I was beating everybody at 14. <laughs> More than my skills, I had the mindset. To kill, destroy, break them down. It's just, I'm the greatest. You know, success is all about a lifestyle. I lived the um, lifestyle of the champion at 14. In order to be the champ, you have to live a lifestyle of the champ. It's all about discipline, doing what you hate to do, but doing it like you love it. That's what it's all about. If you don't have discipline, I don't care how skillful you are, you're nothing. If you don't want to be the, the best ever, why are you here? <laughs> confidence breeds success, and success breeds confidence. It's all about the belief that you can do it. Belief is more powerful than anything. Only thing we can do is just um, have that focus and believe in ourselves and believe that I want to be up then anybody in the world wants me to be down. And it's all about, well, like I said before, self-belief. My whole success um, is from belief. I just believe in me and um, I'm going to overcome all my adversity. The truth uh, set you free, but it's going to make you miserable first. And that's how we improve as a person, improving ourselves. You have to first have the aptitude to do what you claim you want to do. And if you have that and the determination and the will to win, there's nothing that you can't do. Impossible is nothing compared to anybody that tries. Nothing's impossible then. Confidence breeds success, success breeds confidence, and confidence applied properly will supersede a genius. Life is just a circle. They're gonna hate me again one day, and then God willing, they're gonna respect me again one day. Because in order to be a master, you have to first be a fool, I guess. You have to believe in yourself before you believe in anything else. God, religion, you have to believe in you. And once you believe in you and have a relationship with you, there's nothing that you can't do. You have to be the champion in this to be the champion in this. When I win the morning, I win the day. So that's why exercise is important to relieve your stress. Win the morning, you win the day. And so I, I realized life is all about, in here, it's all about your belief system. 
faith fear. Never lose when you face it. Trust me, never lose when you face fear. You know, our mistakes don't define us. Our high points don't define us. Life defines us. As long as you can have happy moments, take as many of them as you can, because life is just a flick of the eye. Well, that's what life is about. You gotta, you gotta sit in your room sometime, give your subconscious some time, and spend time, and, envision, and just envision yourself doing, being with the most exciting people in the world, doing the most exciting things in the world, and just living that fantasy, and that fantasy will become reality one day. Discipline could be taking your illusions and turning them into a reality. You dream of yourself something bigger than what you can ever imagine and you become it. Now that's discipline. In order to be able to change anything, you have to change yourself. You know, you have to look in the mirror and say, what do I want to do to make me a better person? Or what is it that I can do that could define myself as being a better person than I am now? You know, who can I help? Who can I worship? Who can I do something to or with that would make me feel like a better person and help me reach my highest potential? You have to find that first. What is it that I can do to help people? You know, that's all I think about. How can we help somebody? Visualize and looking into the mirror, and that's what it's all about, touching your inner core of your consciousness. I don't believe in talent. Well, some people, they have talent. That's, it's good, it helps when you have talent. As long as you have a lot of determination and willpower, that's all you need, and you, you have to have the will to win. How do you think anybody with the will, to, the will to win and desire not to lose will succeed? I would think of myself as um, a roaring gladiator like Alexander the Great. I feel like I'm a ruler when I'm in my mind thinking about accomplishing something. I think possible, Nothing's impossible to somebody who tries. So I never think about failure in that perspective. I think about feeling, but not in that perspective. I need the pressure. Without the pressure, there's no me. Without the pressure, I don't have the guts to, to say, hey, I'm gonna fight this guy. I have to have the pressure. Anything that I'm afraid to do, I do it. And um, that's just how I live my life. The more you're comfortable with you, the more you be comfortable with death. And the more comfortable you are with death, the more at peace you are with yourself. I just knew never to get discouraged. I just knew that I would get my day if I continue to try hard and believe in myself. I am who I am, and I'm going to die being who I am, and I'm going to live being who I am. This is just who I am. It's all about what you believe. I got belief in myself, and belief <laughs> is more powerful than anything. Thank you.